I'm at war. How are we going tonight? I'm going to talk about Port Arthur for a little bit. The time is 5.37 on Friday the 30th, the 29th of April 2016. Sorry, my mistake, not the 30th, the 29th of April. Port Arthur happened 20 years ago today. There's a whole pile of people mass murdered by a man called Martin Bryant. They should have never had a rifle in the first place. They didn't do one thing. They made it very difficult to get firearms. When I was a young child, firearms were very easy to get. My grandfather grew up on a dairy farm in a place called Stroud Road. I worked on a dairy farm with him and I was like, every time on holidays. And he had shotguns, he had 22s, he had little other rifles were common. But that was all to change after after June, uh, after April 1996 with Martin Bryant. To the better, to the worse, it's hard to say, but I believe this is part of a, was part of the coming up Agenda 2030, which was Agenda 21 at the time. They're gradually and slowly tightening up the country to a situation, a state where we'll be in a very dire situation. It won't be much good at all. It'll be quite bad. This is one of the earlier things that's starting off the issues I'm talking about. April the 29th 1996, Martin Bryant murdered a mass of people in Port Arthur in Tasmania. This should never have happened because rifles should have been restricted at the time and this man should have been denied the firearms. But they've gone so ridiculous now, it's not funny, it's the opposite way. It's very, very difficult to get guns. And if we have a time we need to use guns, we're going to have major problems, especially if Australia gets attacked. And normal people can't fight back. Thank you very much, and bye for now.